Hello, everybody. It is time for a Lamley Showcase. This might be a little longer than the typical showcase I do because we are going deep into the Hot Wheels Camaro. And that is a pretty loaded statement. When you say Camaro or Hot Wheels Camaro, we're talking a whole lot of models. Now, I don't know for sure. Some of you might know. But when it comes to sheer number of castings and variations and releases, I think Hot Wheels has done more Camaros than any other model. Maybe the Mustang and the Corvette are close, but I still don't think anything comes close. They have been doing Camaros since day one at Hot Wheels. And that continues to push forward. Now, the train may have slowed down a little bit in the last couple of years. I know some of you think this is the Japanese or JDM era. It definitely is. There's no denying that. There's a lot more Japanese cars, but there's a lot of interest in Japanese cars um, globally. And so... Um, Hot Wheels is reflecting that and probably making up for some lost time as well. But the Camaros aren't slowing down. There's still a lot of them coming. And there's a, a lot of new versions coming. A lot of new decos on older castings, some newer castings. And I like the Camaro. I may not have as much as I have of other cars, but I do have a few. You can see here, I can even try and push up just a little bit. This is one of my uh, storage cases of Camaros. I have a couple when it comes to Hot Wheels. Not a ton, and I collect a little differently when it comes to the Camaro. Now, this is my favorite casting, the 1970 Camaro. There's a super treasure hunt, and I try and get every one of those releases. But in most other Camaro releases that Hot Wheels does, I usually get the first edition because they tend to be more stock than the other. It's not totally scientific. If I like it, I keep it. But we're going to go through some of my favorite Camaros, and we are going to open up some. Now, I leave those for another time. But I want to walk through some of the, uh, well, actually, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to show you what I'm going to open today. Number one, I'm going to open the brand new 67 Camaro that has been seen in the end case. I've already been doing that one. I'm also going to open the latest color of the 2017 Camaro ZL1. That's a stock color, so I want that one. And then a, a casting that I have really liked but really haven't collected only because I haven't liked the deco so far, but I do now is the 1981 Camaro. And there are three colors that I'm going to open up as well. And then I'm going to open up a special one right at the end, one that I have had for years and years, and it's time to open that one up. So let's talk 67 Camaro first. Let's do this. We're going to walk through. I'm going to just go back to my makeshift display, and then we will open up the latest Camaro. All right. When it comes to the 67, there's a kajillion, right? There are so many 67 Camaros out there. I have one, two, three, four. I have six, seven. I'll have eight soon. And I'm going to walk through what I've got. It starts with this one. And you can say, all right, John, you are way, way late to the game. And I am. And that's okay. I've, the 67 Camaro is iconic. It's beloved, but it's older. It's simpler. It has a really nice rake to it, a really nice stance to it. You got to have a few Camaro, 67 Camaros if you are a Hot Wheels collector. So I have only collected a few of the latest ones. This is the Super Treasure Hunt before last. I think this is from about 2013, maybe. The Summit Camaro, and it is awesome. This one only recently has the base become plastic. So this one has a metal chassis and an opening hood, as you can see, and uh, which most Camaros have had. And I love the deco on this one, and I love the real riders on it. The next one, I'm going to try and stay. It's from the Entertainment Series. I don't even remember what movie this is from. But I liked it because it was the cl it's the closest to a stock 67 Camaro as Hot Wheels has done, at least in the era that I've been collecting Hot Wheels Camaros. So you can see like the hood stripe and then it's just plain beyond and the real riders. I like this one. I like this one a lot. So there was that. Then of course, Golf. This is from the RLC Golf series. I, I You can't have not have this one. I didn't even think the video and the lighting even does this one justice. The Golf Premium series that Hot Wheels did and all the numerous castings. I collect them all, so 67 Camaro or not, I was going to keep it. This one has had some issues with some chipping on the front. Not the one I have, but some of those that, some of you who got this one, 
and that's a bit of a bummer, but this one has held up okay, I think. It may not over time as it bumps around in its case. Okay. From the 30th Hot Wheels convention, I think this was in L.A., in bright gold sitting on the GT Real Riders. They can do the 67, when they do it, and they do it up, they do it really, really well. I think the, uh, there we go, starting to turn again. I can't tell whether it's the gold one or the golf one that I think is the prettiest, but this one is pretty sweet. And I'm going to screw it up when I... Last convention. Hot Pink. RLC. So there, there's always there's always a good chance you're going to see a 67 Camaro in the RLC. And then I will, right about the same time, they released another RLC model in orange. And I like that one as well. Not as particularly fond of the Neo wheels as I am the real riders. But I'll take it. So... This year, the 67 Camaro was released. Here I already showed you the car. There's the card. And this one is based on... This one is actually... They did this with the DeLorean a couple of years ago with the Gran Turismo, I think. I'm going to try and keep this. This deco of the 67 Camaro is the exact same deco of the very first 67 Camaro. Not very first, but first of this incarnation. You 67 Camaro experts can kind of make it more clear. There was the Camaros that were done in the Redline era, and then this as we this casting as we know it now was originally released in I think 1983. And this is the deco that it had, the flames on the hood, the flames on the side. Of course, it had the old Hot Wheels wheels. This one carries the five spokes. The only difference, I ripped it up, now, well, major difference is that this model has no opening hood and has a plastic chassis. That makes a lot of people bummed out, but the car still remains the same. And because this car has gone to a plastic base and no opening hood and some of the collectors are bummed out about it, Hot Wheels threw everyone a bone and made it a super treasure hunt as well. And a darn nice one. This one I did not find in store. This one was uh, sent to me by my friend Brian. Oh, I'm Brian. I'm going to screw up your last name. Brian Bramblett. Sorry, Brian. I wanted to make sure I get that right. Brian was a Brian found this on a mass, messed up card. Asked me if I wanted it. We worked out a deal, and he sent me this Camaro along with another one. I'll show you in a little bit beautiful super treasure hunt sure the hood doesn't open but i don't care because this one looks fantastic on steelies i love the real rider steelies all right we're already eight minutes in and i got a lot more to do so let's get past the 67 camaro we've already opened that one up let's pop back again and let's go to the next camaro that we're going to open up i said that i would open up this one the 2017 Camaro ZL1. Well, there's some previous ZL1s. The generation before was released. Now, I'm going to show you. Look at this red one. This is the gen this is the previous ZL1 that Hot Wheels did. This was released, I believe, in 2011, 2012, something like that. Might have been even earlier than that. Of all the uh, new generation Camaros. This casting was my favorite, so this is the one I collected at least the stock versions of. Here is the new ZL1, and you can see I actually prefer this one. Oh, you know what? I didn't even go up close. There we go. I prefer this one. I feel it's a little more sleek. This one seems a little more crunched, kind of scrunched together. But because it's a stock Camaro, I'm going to keep it. There's the older one. There were one, two, three, four colors released to this one in its first year in its stock deco. There's my favorite one. The red was first. My favorite is the blue with the white stripe. Move this over a little bit. Then it was released for the Kroger exclusive in yellow. Wasn't particularly easy to find. And then after that Kroger release, it was released in green. So four colors of this one in one year. That's pretty crazy. 
but it's a Camaro. It deserves it. And in the middle of that, Hot Wheels went to SEMA and did themselves a SEMA version in a, what would you say, the antifreeze green. Same deco, essentially, but full detail, front and rear. OH5 wheels, so not real riders, but a metal chassis. This one is pretty cool. I'm happy to have that one. Had to seek that one out. So they've done the ZL1. They've done plenty since. I don't have them. I only have the stock versions. Then they did this one in red, and now this one in blue. And I will go ahead and open that one up. And it joins the family in the collection. There you go. This one, a little scrunched, but the details are nice. I just wish, you know, it might be time to go with the sh with the smaller wheel on the rear with these. It just seems like something that they could do. Detail on the back looks nice. I don't think they had it on the... No, they didn't have it on the previous version. But they did do it on this one. Just go with the smaller wheel, and I think this one looks less scrunched. All right. What should we do next? Let's go to the 81 Camaro. Now, I showed you there were three colors, and we will walk through those... Doot, 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 doot. Here in a second. Showing the previous one's going to be really easy. It's this one. That's all I got. I love the casting. I like the rear wheels of it. They're, I, they're big. It doesn't bother me. I love that front grille. I love the sloping front. I love the raked height on the back. All the details are there. This car should be a super treasure hunt. It should be in the RLC. It should be in car culture. It's a tremendous casting. I just have hated the decos. And so this green one was done in the Camaro series that was released, was it late last year, or earlier this year? Maybe it was earlier, yeah, 50th anniversary Camaro series. So it was this year. I like this one in green. All the previous versions I have not liked. And so I was waiting for a good one. The green one came out. I was happy about it. And then Hot Wheels went ahead and in the 50th anniversary uh, series that they're doing in the basic range this year did it again and actually gave it a really nice deco especially this blue version i have yet to open it because i knew there were more colors so i'm going to do it right now this is a great great casting that the deco there's other models like this the dodge a100 the volkswagen um was it the t1 or the panel bus great great castings that have not gotten that just just killer, killer deco. The Camaro's finally getting there. I'm still waiting for a real rider version of this one. So this is the recolor, or this is the first color this year in blue. It was released. You can get it in stores now. In the, is it, it'll be the P case, maybe even the Q case. Here's the recolor in orange. I like this one better. This one I would have been okay with, um, but not really that fond of, but I want it now because it's a variation of this color. So we'll open that up. It looks pretty good. I just, I'm just happy to finally, <clears throat> excuse me, have more versions of this casting. Some ca some versions that I can collect. Last but not least, I'm not going to keep you looking at this orange one very much because I want to get to this one. Now here is, okay, same thing, Camaro 50 in black with some really nice, what, late 70s, early 80s, yellows and oranges. I love that color combination. The gold PR5s. It looks awesome. There's only one way to get this one. You got to go to Toys R Us. And my goodness, I couldn't find it. I don't know. It might, the days of this one might already be gone. It might have already been long gone. Brian, who sent me the 67 Camaro Super Treasure Hunt, was very nice to include this. He was able to find it. And he sent this one to me as well. So a massive Camaro-themed shout-out to Brian Bramblett who was really cool to send me these, to send these my way so they can be showcased here. And I definitely wanted to give you, Brian, a shout out for that. There you go. The black Toys R Us exclusive. I think I like the blue the most, but considering how hard some of these are, well, maybe I like the black. That is clean. Really, really happy to have this one. And really happy to see this casting finally getting its due.
but let's make it a super, guys. Maybe next year, who knows? You guys will think if it actually ends up happening that I knew I don't. Be a nice little prediction, though. Okay. 67 we've done. 81 we've done. We've done the ZL1. All right. Let's finish this off by going back in time. I'm going to... I'm going to walk through. I told you I like to collect the stock versions of the Camaros. Well, this is one that I do. And I actually, I think I've actually stretched that just a little bit with some other versions. It is the 1985 Camaro IROC Z. I had to come around to this cast and I finally have. The IROC is awesome. I would have preferred small wheels in the back or same size wheels, but this casting is highly detailed. It looks really good. And this first version in red is pretty. There is no doubt about it. It was first released in red with the IROC deco on the side, which, I mean, an IROC Camaro, I grew up with those. We had, I had a couple friends that had them. Tail lights done, which was an interesting development you didn't see back when this casting was released. Then they recolored it in black and then went on a run of multi-pack car, well, almost on a run of multi-pack cars, they did, they did variations of this exact casting. But first, they went with a went, they went with a holiday version. So now, for me with this casting, it has to have that kind of side stripe, that Z28 deco on the side. This one got headlight tampos, it got hood stripes, side stripes with the Z28. So I was like, this is stock-ish. And I like the taillights too, so I felt, you know what? It's a nice continuation of the red and the black version, so I kept it. Or I bought it and I put it in the collection. Then, here's what I was saying. It started going into nine packs. We started seeing it as a multi-pack exclusive. Same deco on the sides with the IROC Z and the Z28. And this yellow version even got the taillights. Then we, and, that was, and then each year since, we've seen a version of it released in the multi-packs. They lost the taillights on the blue version, but it still has that same side deco, same wheel. So it's essentially a recolor of the first edition. And then just recently, and you can still see them in packs now, in this kind of burnt orange, which is pretty nice. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six stock or stock-ish versions of the IROC. There's been a couple others that I've liked. This one was from the Target Vintage series. Definitely not stock, but I kind of liked it. So and it has the Z28 on the side, so I thought it was worth getting. I don't think the taillights, no, nope, taillights were not done on that one. And then, of course, in the 50th anniversary Camaro series, they went with the IROC Z on deco on this one on the side, so I had to add that as well. So that was the most recent. In the middle of that, actually very, very, um, right around the time that this was released, the IROC, they did a premiere version of it, and it is absolutely, positively stunning. From the Hot Wheels RLC Re Real Rider Series 85 Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z, this is Series 11. And I said, it's all about having that uh, IROC Z Z28 stock deco. Well, they did it here with the Spectre Flame Red, real riders, those five-spoke five kind of star Ferrari type real riders that look good on the Camaro, metal chassis. And I have been sitting on this car since I bought it years and years ago. I'm not going to look on eBay and see how much it's worth. Might be selling for 15 bucks. It might be selling for 100. I have no idea. Here's the number on it: 741 out of 4,000. I figure. Well, here's the back. You can see that. The real riders. There's the e sheet right there. I have been meaning to open this for a long, long time. I thought now is as good a time as any. Thick cardboard. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm finally doing this. Plastic. There you go. I'm going to have to take pictures of this one, put it on lamleygroup.com because that is a stunner model that's going to have to go in that display behind me. Very, very, very happy to have this one. 
and very happy to have finally opened it. It's been sitting carted in a poor prison for, oh, about six years. At least five. Not anymore. It is out. So that's how we'll finish off this Camaro showcase. We're on 20 minutes, guys. I hope that's been okay. Um, but we need to do more of these kind of cars instead of just the Japanese stuff. we got a lot of stuff to come. Thanks for letting me do this one. I enjoyed doing this showcase. Talk to you later, everyone. Bye.